Donkey Kong Land for Game Boy is a very special game to me. I bought it when it first came out, way back in 1995. I loved it. I beat the game, I got 100% of the secrets, and I continued to play it after that. Sometimes I'd just turn it on and admire the graphics. Uh, the animations and the backgrounds all just look so real. It was unlike any other Game Boy game I'd ever seen. But here's the problem. One time when I was checking out this game, I found out an animation was missing. See, when you press down to duck, Donkey Kong covers his head with his hands, and every so often he lifts his hands up and peeks around, you know, to see if there's any danger. But he wasn't doing it. Now, I know I'd seen him do it before, didn't I? Was I confusing it with the Super NES game? Or was I going crazy? <laughs> so I actually took my copy of the game, I boxed it up, and I shipped it to Nintendo of America with a note describing the situation. A few weeks later, uh, they shipped the game back to me with a cute little note saying something like, we did a scan of your cartridge and didn't find any issues, thank you for playing Nintendo, or whatever. Uh, sometime after that, I was playing again, uh, but this time, I saw it. He was doing the thing. Okay, so I confirmed I wasn't crazy. Uh, but why doesn't he do it all the time? And what triggers it? So eventually, I started doing some research, and I discovered a consistent way to trigger the animation. Uh, late in the game, you meet Expresso the Ostrich. Uh, if you duck while he's on screen, then the animation will start working. And, with the help of my programmer friend, I was able to find out why. So, there's a random number generator in the game, and the animation will only play when the correct random number is selected. But here's the problem. The random number generator only runs on the title screen. Which means, when you start the game, you have like a 1 in 7 chance of seeing the animation. But even if you do, it's not how the animation is supposed to look, it just plays non-stop over and over again. To truly fix it, uh, the random number generator would need to run during gameplay by inserting it into the main game loop. And as of now, there's a patch that does just that. So for the first time in almost 30 years, I'm finally able to see how the duck animation in Donkey Kong Land is supposed to look. By the way, this also affects the idle animation for Rambi the Rhinoceros. Uh, he's supposed to turn his head and pant like a dog. It's cute. And the fix for it is so simple, it can even be applied on an official cartridge using the Game Genie. <laughs> now, do I think this was an actual bug and not just left out on purpose? Yeah, I think so. The fact that the code for Donkey Kong himself actually checks to see if the specific number was picked indicates that it was the intention, and it's such, it's such an obscure thing to look for in testing, you have to hold down and wait long enough for the animation to trigger uh, that it could easily be missed. Uh, also, I don't see any reason for it not to have been included. I gave the game a quick playthrough to see if the random number generator affected any other aspect of the game, uh, but I couldn't find anything. And there you go! For the first time ever, Donkey Kong Land now plays the ducking animation the way it was most likely always intended. Huh. I should mail the patch to Nintendo of America. Tell them I'm all set. <laughs>